Artificial intelligence and the acronym AI is defined as the ability of a digital computer or it could be a computer controlled robot to perform tasks commonly associated with intelligent beings, such as humans. Let's assume all humans are intelligent beings even though in our day to day we interact or run into not so intelligent humans. The term artificial intelligence is frequently applied to the project of developing systems endowed with intellectual processes characteristic of humans, such as the ability to reason, discover meaning, generalize, or learn from past experience. There is a very strong argument to state that any one or many of these characteristics may be part of the process. In our case, in 2002, we took the name Artificial Medical Intelligence with the acronym AMI as it is focused on medical subject matter, in particular, and how this knowledge base has been assimilated and used to identify, in its most basic form, medical diagnoses, diseases, and procedures. In its most sophisticated use case, we use all sorts of predictive analysis. We compare and evaluate support for clinical diagnoses and we map disease states in the exact fashion that medical practitioners are taught how to diagnose and treat patients. How does it work? Well, in previous videos, we've discussed the real-world accumulation of literally millions of medical terms and descriptions, including slang, acronyms, and misspellings, to capture exactly what occurs during a patient encounter. For you AI geeks out there, we use a proprietary language model. This model is not a large language model, and it is not self-supervised. Rather, we use a focused language model, a term not seen in the very recent emergent definitions of artificial intelligence. What it means is that medical terminology as a knowledge base or repository is narrow-banded, has its own unique attributes, and is surprisingly universal in nature, the proper incorporation of which is critical to the success of the model. That's one piece, our ontology is a repository of medical terminology. How it all comes together is what makes our model unique. With our ontologies, we need to understand grammar, and we have a unique proprietary way of describing this process, which we refer to as pivot grammars. We define a pivot grammar as a rule corresponding to the positioning of terminology within a sentence or paragraph relative to a medical term, and the effect of these either pre or post clauses on those medical terms. For the sake of English, let's define a clause as a group of words made up of a subject and a predicate, though the internal grammatical structure of the clause becomes irrelevant for the purpose of the pivot grammar affecting the desired result. If a found expression corresponds to a medical term and a word or words in the pre and post clauses relate to the medical term, then the term will either be highlighted or suppressed. Some simple examples of this concept would include the patient has a history of cancer, or the patient is going for an exploratory laparotomy. Both of these examples would tell the AI engine that these are not valid instances of cancer or exploratory laparotomy. To demonstrate this, we will take a further look at the second example of exploratory laparotomy. In this sample document, we see the sentence, she is going for an exploratory laparotomy for removal of this mass, noting that the term exploratory laparotomy is not being picked up as a valid code by the system, as the pivot grammar, is going for a, indicates that this is a future tense event. An exploratory laparotomy has not yet happened, so the technology is smart enough to not code this term. To further illustrate this, we are going to now show how by removing this particular pivot grammar from our system, the technology will no longer suppress this medical term or code. We will also see some of the other pivot grammars within our system that let the system know whether or not to highlight or suppress particular medical terms, such as did consider, return for other concerns, and with potential complications. Now that the pivot grammar is going for a has been removed, we now see within the application that the term exploratory laparotomy is now being picked up as a valid procedure. Why expose this very descriptive process now? because the deployment of the pivot grammars, or how we use them, preserves and protects AMI's intellectual property. You've heard of the expression, if it were easy, everyone would be doing it. Well, this applies here. In our 21 years, we have yet to see any clear use of these tools deployed expertly as we've done. And while the pivot grammars remain a relatively static piece of IP, 
There are literally hundreds of these grammatical switches aimed at capturing what needs to be captured. Add this to our unique accumulation of terminology and other proprietary pieces, and you've got the secret sauce, or better yet, the Coca-Cola recipe for an effective medical AI tool set. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel.